fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. Now, last episode, I actually... <coughs> it was actually a lot longer than I thought. It ended up being a two-hour episode and I did not actually post it in public. I will be throwing that up um, under a listing that will allow our patrons to view, but I'm not really proud of this thing, and it took me two hours to build, so I'm just, eh. It's one of those very, one of those things I'm not really that proud of, but I'll throw the video up for it anyway. It is functional now. I've added some more RCS because I went out and found some more copper, thank God. <clears throat> so down over here, not too far, I actually found a village. I didn't explore that, but there was silicone, iron, and copper, and I mined them out. Now they showed, like, I... I for some reason, I can't mine the mode. It, it won't get rid of the 1%, 2% thing. It just, it still thinks there's stuff there. Same with over these. I don't know. I can't find any more in these ones. But I don't think it matters because it should still trigger. I just need to mine a little bit more, and it'll probably trigger start triggering meteorites. So <clears throat> that is my goal, to get the meteorites falling. That'll get me uh, way better resources, so. Uh, but in the meantime, what we're going to do today is we are going to go do the Robson Protocol. Uh, at least try to get a good chunk of it done. I think we now that we have a vehicle that can actually um, protect itself somewhat. And you'll notice, actually, I, I guess I should show it. it it's It does have my rear entry style um design to it now it's it's just a little boxy for me i think i will i will be modifying it in the future what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to get rid of this chunk here i'm going to extend these out a bit more puff it out i'm going to add another central pod here so it'll be a third elevate it's slightly higher than this turret and then, but not quite as high as the back, so I'll have three different turret levels for uh, turrets. <clears throat> because I plan on putting on more turrets, the uh, rocket turrets, so, yeah. And then uh, this thing will be all turreted up. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, oh, did I miss painting it? You know what, I still got, I still got it on me, so let's, there we go block that was missing some paint there okay so today here let's put these away I don't need to carry them with me actually I don't need to even jump in there I have it I can access it from the outside I don't know why I keep forgetting that uh, oh, I just go into here just go into here good enough so you see I've made a bunch of medical supplies too and that's really cool um, but I don't have a lot of healing, to tell you the truth. I got stuff to deal with stuff, but not a lot of healing stuff. Get it? <laughs> Clear as mud. Um, what I should do is go into my tech tree, because I did raise to level 9. Now, we really need to start thinking about the small vessel at this point. So I'm going to start unlocking this stuff. Um... I'll need it because I'll probably have to spawn in the, the starter and then add stuff to it or I'll build it. I, yeah. So let's... We're going to have to do that. Um, hmm. Or... <clears throat> do I go for the shotgun? I've got explosive devices. I think I can... Assault rifle. Shotgun's supposed to be just kick ass close in. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's do that. And then 
What else have we got in hover vessel that we haven't taken yet that we're going to need? Um, no. Capital vessel. Mm. Well, I might as well start getting some of this on the way to unlocking. Uh, uh, I need the small vessel. I don't know why I'm playing around with that stuff. Let's let's get the mobile constructor, and I'm not going to have enough points now. That's okay. So do the warp tank, and then we'll just carry those points over. So when we hit level ten, we'll have them. Uh, maybe I should eat something really quick here. Eat a couple of grilled steaks. Okay, so we have enough resources on us to keep us going for a while. Yeah, we've got pro a bunch of Prometheum. So this is, I mined this stuff out. I started turning into copper ingots. So I did find, you know, a decent supply again. Uh, we should be able to, you know, maybe next episode I'll build it. I'll uh, spawn in my uh, cheap SV box top starter and just add a little bit more thrusters to it and, and take it up to the moon and get some mining done I think. So let's head over to oh, let's get some uh, I probably need some more ammo right? Let's get some more ammo going. Can I not do that? Nitrocellulose. Yes I can do that. I can do that. <coughs> yeah. 58 logs I can do that. Okay, so, what was that, 50, so we'll make another 500, and we're also going to make five of those for now. I guess we could make the shotgun and a bunch of shotgun shells too. That's cheap enough to make, let's make one of those, and copper and get, ooh. Okay, you know what? I'll make two stacks. That'll give me six. Okay, so we'll let that stuff cook up on the... While it's doing that, we'll head over to the alien tower. So it's seven clicks away. Uh, I want to find the easiest route. Don't really want to... Um, You know, they need to increase the speed for the HVs now, too, because if we're tra traveling these hellacious distances, I think HVs need a little love. Um, hmm. You know what? You know what? Hang on. Hang on. I, I, I stop for big dudes that I can kill easy. I like that they just stop and let me kill them more easy. Well, this guy kind of started walking again. Okay. Normally they just completely stop and freeze. Oh, there we go. And we'll loot him up. Come on. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> meat and eggs. Meat and eggs. What can you make with meat and eggs? It's steak and eggs, right? Huh? Huh? Okay, let's stay out of the tree line for now. It's just a pain in the ass. The trees are very thick, and it's for an HV, it's a little bit of a pain. So I'm just avoiding them right now. This thing's actually fairly stable. Yeah, it's actually kind of large, too. <laughs> actually, let's check the stats on... It's not like... Class one. Oh, it's barely class one. Meh. It could use with some more thrusters now. I added a bunch of RCS, so that helped a lot. Now I can. Ooh, what's over there? That's that funky radioactive biome. We don't need to go in there. Although it's um. 
It's pretty in pink. What is that? Oh, it's a rock. It was just the graphics looked a little funky on it. I'm like, what is that? Okay. Let's not dawdle. Let's keep heading. So there's probably not much left to the Robson Protocol besides doing this tower. Then apparently you got to go to the. Oh, where's the small wreckage that I haven't? Oh, there it is. Let's pop out and loot that really quick. Spin around backwards here. And go down. And we'll just move her back up. Whoops, back up. Okay. Yeah, probably overdoing it here <laughs> but this is what this thing can give you as see I, I'm still line of sighting I'm really close to, to something that I can jump onto now and I don't see any cargo boxes I hear something hmm what's out there Oh, it's a, uh, it's him. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Is there even, okay, yep, there's cargo boxes right there. Okay. Oops, wrong way. You spin me right. Okay, come on. Come on. Really? Water and electronics. Nice. Okay. Okay. We'll get ahead. Okay. Let's not dawdle any longer for just stuff that might have been semi useful right at the beginning. A little a small bottle of water and a and, and electronics. Yeah. Oh come on, I thought we were supposed to be able to drive through the smaller trees now. No? Is that not the case? Okay, so I guess no tree, no tree driving. Oh, see I'm bumping in trees. Ugh, it's annoying. <laughs> it's very hard to see in an HV. I guess if I went into, you know, first person view and had windows, I might be able to, oh, let's just get out on the water. <coughs> I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't just go to the water right off the bat. So I'm not, I can't remember what you get for doing the Robson Protocol if you get anything at all. I think it's just story pretty much. But we'll go, we'll, we'll come, we'll come check it out now. Since we activated it, we might as well do it, right? And I'm at the point now with a with a vehicle that, like I was saying, that can self-defend itself, and we can do a little bit of exploring and adventuring now. I've got light armor on. I've got some weapons. A little bit of healing. I can get food easy enough. Got lots of fuel. It's so we're we're not we're not in a survival mode anymore. We're we're definitely in the explore um, explore phase of the game. I call this. Okay, alien tower. <clears throat> So, what are we supposed to do? Find signal emitter. 
There's a strong signal coming from inside. Oh, look at this little dude. Oh, isn't he cute? Hey, buddy. Hey. You want to come to my place and... What's he doing? Is he... Is he... He's, he's attacking me. Really? Wow. That's pretty, uh... That's pretty bold. There. Well, that makes him pretty dead. Oh, I see corn over there. <laughs> um... I actually wanted him just in case he had some cool sprouts. Yes, he does. Nice. Look at that. Oh, wheat. That's awesome. Okay. Because I'm hoping that I might be able to get some stuff out of the Titans. Like some grow plots. Okay, so this guy's got to die over here. Because... I don't want him, you know, joining the party, or crashing the party, anyway. So we'll just let him sit there and grind himself on my, on my meat grinder. That was very kind of him to do that, because that was pretty much effortless on my part to kill him. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So now we got some baddies out of the way, immediate baddies that are like right there. Let's Hmm. Let's uh back our Let's back this right up to the ramp there. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Um, my stuff in the constructor should be ready, so let's take that, 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 that. Let's put this away, stick this in the fridge, and we'll put the rest in the... Here, we'll just, we'll just stick it there for now. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, so we've got some... Claymores to... Uh, well, they call them explosive devices, but it kind of looks like a claymore, doesn't it? Okay, uh, let's put that down here. Okay, so are we reloaded? Yes. Let's go check this out. And I got that on, that on. I've got healing down there. Okay, let's do this. Creepy background music. Okay. Well, let's check out what they want us to do. A trap! The shaft's been blocked by massive... What? Oh, okay. There's a low energy current, like, from a lever somewhere close to you. Push yourself against the walls and see if you can break through. Oh, like right there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if there is if there is a lever, use it until it fully activates. No. Oh, there we go. The covers were not removed, but the button revealed some ancient inscription. Okay, read panels. Okay. Okay, so now what? 
Um, let's hide over here. I'm not really sure what's going on. What do I do? Seems like uh, they make bears and they know my location. I just, well, I can't do this now. The switch no longer works. Okay, so, oh, there we go. <coughs> Something is happening behind the red panel. And I gotta escape. Okay. So there's my, there's my vehicle, like, right there. So, is there, it says escape, hmm, 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 do I blow this up and maybe screw something up if I blow up the core right now? Let's, let's wait until it, Let's wait until it's done with this building. I'm not going to blow up the core yet. Okay, so let's run to my HV. Whoa! I heard baddies. Oh, look at that. I can just see him. Oh, shit! <laughs> he ran into my... Let's turn on a light here. He's in my freaking HV. Hey, get out of there. Oh, what a mess. What a jerk. Oh, there's another one in there too? Oh no, there's, there he is. Come on. Hey, why do I always have to do this stuff at night? Like, what is wrong with me? And he's hiding. Come on, come on out. Come on out. Come on. There. God, he's hard to see. I think. That's him there. Yep, okay, good. Well, uh, back to base. Back to base. Okay. Really? Wreckage. It outlined the wreckage. It wants me to go to the wreckage? <sighs> okay. Um, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to pop this thing's core anyway. Now that it's sending me away, I think I can pop its core. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> that freaked me out, actually. Okay, so now I should be able to potentially multi-tool blocks out of this, right? So let's, um, let's see, steel plates, now is that all it is? Steel plates, okay. So I can come back here and multi-tool that, I'll, I'll do that off camera, I'm, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So, note to self, close the inside hatch, maybe, because I missed it when I tried to close it and he got through. <laughs> right into my cockpit with me. Yeah. Yeah, so they can actually, you can see now, the AI is pretty cool. He was able to... Um, walk up my the ramp of my vehicle which is actually which was slightly off the ground too so he had to path onto blocks that were elevated slightly off the ground now 
that's completely new. They have never been able to path like that before. So, so very cool. I'm excited about that. So, oh yeah, it's we're supposed to go back to the wreckage. Yeah. Let's stick to the water as much as possible. here that's gonna Ugh. forests are not friendly to HVs that are trying to go fast <laughs> that are trying to harvest them sure but yeah Ugh. okay not really sure why it wants us to go back to the wreckage Maybe there's something there now that I've got to grab. <clears throat> I'm really kind of happy that it pathed its way into my cockpit. That that exited. That was actually some uh, quite a bit of stress for me. I um, I was not actually expecting him to come right up inside my cockpit. I thought I thought aha uh -huh, he's stuck. Just like normal, not anymore, folks. Don't be all comfortable with stuff getting stuck, apparently. They might have fixed that. I'm liking that. That means you can't just stand at the bottom of stairs and kill stuff anymore. Oh, well. I knew that day was coming. I knew they would eventually fix that. Because that was a crappy pathing issue that... They just, they just needed to fix. <laughs> but apparently they did. And it made me shoot up the inside of my HP, so I'm going to have to repair all that. <sighs> yeah, I was not actually expecting him to run in. I was a little, I was a little shocked, actually. And then, and then when he did, I was fumbling around to, to, to actually close the hatch. <clears throat> so... Hmm. Wow. Um, heard much? Okay. Let's just let's just not get distracted by meat. so that you don't bang into trees. Oh, really? Or wrap yourself around them. Okay, so if you want to make this wreckage your first base, build a core, solar panel, place the devices in the wreckage, and check this file for more suitable base devices. Craft a drill to be able to drill underground deposits for larger ore quantities. Uh, no thanks. Really? You don't really want me to... No, am I gonna... I have to... No. Okay, let's... Can we actually... Can we get this to move along more? Uh, consider it. The data pad you found in the wreckage revealed the position of a tower like building. Consider building a light arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did that. A hard touch element. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so. Oh, there we go. Consider building. Consider building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, some stuff we find the red panel. If you want to make this right, blah, 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 blah. energy signature signature is detected. The lane two position far away from your current location then is is identical to those known for the command vessels. Finally, uh, okay. Oh yeah, okay, so I've already discovered 
them, the Titans. That's where there was Prometheum right up here, and I also mined out the silicone. Okay, so it's going to send me to the Titans. That's fine. Uh, we can... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. It's nice to make them, you know, make me come all the way back here first. Just to go all the way past the, um... The frickin' alien tower again, you know. Four odd kilometers in the middle between us now. <clears throat> And I'm going to get out into the open plains or the water or something. There. Oh, this is our uh, starting biome where we crashed the, uh, where we landed. Oh, another small wreckage that I never found before. So there should be some more crappy loot there. Let's go check it out. Although the other two that I found over there had some really good starting loot. I was actually quite impressed. Okay, there's a critter over there. Let's just, let's just back right up to this. Oh, nice I can just grab it from there and yeah <laughs> not really worth our time but whatever it's loot oh wow okay come on hover 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 there we go not easy to see. Okay, here we go. Clear shot. <clears throat> we might have to go through a radiated biome to uh, get there, but that'll give you guys a chance to see it. I'm not sure if I... Did I do that on one of my previous videos? Now I can't even remember. It's kind of cool, though. They also have... Um, alien assassins uh, in those radiated biomes and then the frost biomes can have those those scorpion the blue frost scorpion arachnid things with the long necks so that's kind of cool too so we've got a couple of creatures a few creatures now on the starting planets that were never there before so the the acid spitting insect here in these forests with the uh, red glowy back uh, the uh, what else what else so those those alien assassins uh, the um, Iraq frost arachnids <coughs> the ones that are on frost planets and like Omicron and stuff um, What else? I'm trying to think of other creatures that don't normally find on starting planets. That we've come across now. Hmm. Can't remember now. I think that's it, just those three that I that I can remember. But still, that's kinda cool. Okay. Now I haven't even I didn't even go into the Titans because I knew I knew that we would end up having to come here for the Robson protocol so I just I didn't even loot them or anything so there'll be stuff in them hopefully good stuff maybe an Eva boost 
something, that'd be awesome. I would really like an EVA boost. <clears throat> Okay. This thing has no problem with the six, the six jet thrusters in each direction. I want to put two more in, in it each direction, though. It's not quite as fast as I want it to be. <laughs> I may, and it's going to be, oh, okay, so we've got, we've got dudes to deal with, so that's cool. We'll deal with that. We'll do that. Uh, 312 is our range. Oh, our mini guns are going to get to him before we can, yeah. Our minigun turrets took them out before we could. That's okay. That's okay. We know we know they're working. It is the Titan. Load of weapon damage. Weather hull looks like it's crashed. Cure yours or decades ago strange. Check the wreckage for more info, but stay alerted. Those who caused this disaster might still be around. Okay. Like this guy? Okay, well, uh, wow, he's doing quite the nice little pirouette there. Give him extra points for style. Okay, front part, front part. I think there's, um, there might be grow plots in the front part too, I think. Maybe. I'm trying to remember. I know if we dig in from the back one of the scans of the titan broke into three parts go and find the two remaining parts and retrieve more info find oh okay so we you know it doesn't really care about this one so much so that's cool so now it wants us to go over here to the mid part. Okay. Now, is there any drones? No? Okay. I know I did shoot down a drone on one of the parts. Uh, I was expecting it to get replaced, though, but might not be this one. Okay, so check energy current. There's a current. Okay. Okay. So let's lower down. Now there's usually not a lot of critters that here. Let's let's actually grab something to eat really quick here. And we'll just top ourselves up there. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Just uh that and that. Okay, so we've got some explosives, we've got some ammo, we've got weapons, okay. Now, minus four, we should be able to handle that with our light armor, yep. Is there anything around here that's going to kill me? I don't see anything. Okay, let's go see what this thing is. Data pad. Yeah. Huh. 
there's a rad boost. Um, <clears throat> plan Titan back part. Well, I want to check out the other thing here. Isn't there another one here? Let's. Yeah. I was hoping for an EVA. <laughs> a quick, easy EVA. Okay, and then over to the back part. Okay. We'll come back. We'll come back and loot and stuff. I just... I'll progress the... This along. The back part is the big one anyway. It's got all the... All the stuff in it, really. I think, doesn't it? Maybe. It used to be the piece that had the most thrusters and stuff in it. Okay, logs up there. So, in order to get up there, we're gonna have to blow ourselves in. Now there's, there's an entrance to either end, I believe. And this one looks like it's buried. Nope, that's right there. Okay, so let's see. If I lower myself, actually, here we can. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't be derping. Bump my keyboard and send me flying. So we'll just we'll just lower it down. You know what, it's really noisy, so let's, um, thrusters are just working against itself right now. <coughs> okay, let's jump out, and we're clear, there's no, nothing coming to kill us. Okay, <laughs> uh, armored door, okay, so armored door. Wow. Isn't the other side not armored? Hmm. Let's see. How many of these does it take? One or two? I forget now. Oops. One. Let me in. Okay, so now... Is that... Oh, it's an automatic door. So I should be able to just open it. And then look at all these cargo boxes. Oh, glorious. Glorious. Oh, yeah. There's going to be lots of goodies. Okay, so let's just get this done really quick first. And then... Okay, so... This section, oh, it's all buried. Um, this is the elevator shaft one here. So let's dig this out. Is it on the front here? I think it is. Yeah, there's the door. Okay. And automatic door. Okay, let's just get into a third person now that I'm walking around in my avatar. Okay, and let's see, there's a little gap there. I don't think we can get in it though. Gotta mind the temperature because if it does start getting too cold, then I gotta, that's an automatic door. Okay. Oh, you can get in through here. Interesting. Uh, okay, so logs. Whoa, you found the ship log. Auto message started, blah, 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 blah. Command room. We cannot... Uh, we'll station. Okay, so they're just... They're talking back and forth about... Um,
stuff before they got shot down. Uh, initiating warp jump. Make contact with whoop, security alert. Battle stations. Shields lost. Engines lost. Gravity of planet. So crashing into gravity of planet. I don't know. Sending distress call. Recon units captured. Coordinated by a radar site on the planet at given coordinates. Destroy. Failed. Okay, so they're supposed to try and they were supposed to try and destroy the radar site. Uh, failed. Log destroyed. To all remaining ships, retreat and blah. Log in. It seems that the fleet ran away into enemy forces and the Titan was destroyed. This does not explain the weathered material of the UCH vehicle wreckages, but at least the data pad had some coordinates of a radar station where the attack was suspected to be commanded from. You should go there, but before, build some better weapons and an armored weaponized attack vehicle. Consider building a base to get better constructors, weapons, and equipment necessary for this undertaking. Okay, so it is sending us off to attack an alien core almost 20 kilometers away. So I think at this point, uh, I'm going to call the episode, and I'm going to hang around here, and I know you guys probably wanted to see what the loot is. It's just going to be crap. Oh, except for that. That's not crap. Medium armor. How awesome is that? I'm going to go put that on right away. <laughs> That's just uber. <laughs> it's just, it's all crap. It's just garbage. Come on, give me an EVA now. Give me an EVA. Ooh. Am I going to fall? That's... <gasps> Ooh, an oscillator. And I, is that what it's called? Oscillator? I don't know. Uh, okay. So, well, we're just going to loot this now. So, uh, yeah. Next episode is going to go check out the alien core. I will... Stick around here, loot these things, and probably multi-tool a bunch of it down as much as I can. I'll probably get the good, better pieces out. Uh, maybe even throw a core into these as I do it to get, like, blocks and stuff. So, yeah, I should be able to get some good resources out of the three Titans. And then possibly uh, have a decent SV to be able to spawn in and go check out the alien core. I'm assuming that's the alien core on... On what? Alien core. For what? Oh, come on. Okay, so that's tough. Because I... Oh, wow. That is not going to be an easy... The fortification and the comma ray are protecting it. Oh. There's also a spaceport right there. It's This is a hairy zone. I never even got close enough to reveal it all. Apparently, I didn't reveal it all because there's more to it. Oof. Yeah, we can't go there yet. That's, that's way beyond us. We need a much better SV to go take that crap on. So, yeah, the Robson Protocol is going to have to be put on hold until we can go do that, so... Um, wow, um, I think I got a little bit screwed on that one because I, I seem to remember other people getting like an easy mode freaking <laughs> base to go attack for their alien core. What the, what the heck? I'm trolled again. Oh, well. Well, guys, uh, next episode, we won't go check out the alien core. <laughs> We will hopefully fly to the moon in an SV that I'm going to spawn in. Or have spawned in and modified and gotten better. So, yeah. Uh, until then, guys, you have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>